My name is Rayo Abe. I'm a professional housewife, <laughs> which is something that always makes people laugh. How does professional align with housewife? But I guess that's what I am. I make a proof. Being a housewife is my profession. It's what I do. From a very early age, I always said I didn't want to walk outside the home, that I'm going to walk from home if I, and that I, I want to be there with my family, which was weird. Anytime I say that, my mom will be like, because uh -huh. she was a career woman. She walked all through her life and her mother walked. Her mother-in-law worked, so me saying I didn't want to work, everybody was like, why? But it was just something I felt strongly about. After my NYC, I was retained where I worked, and I ended up working for four years before leaving. I, uh, and it was a year after that I got married, and since then, I've been at home, have not worked in any formal sector, no. I'm a housewife, full-time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, being a housewife, I've actually had lots of people approach me with misconceptions about what they think housewives are, as in we tie wrapper around our chest all through the day, hair net on our heads. The only thing we do is we gossip and then when it's almost time for our husbands to come from work, that's when we rush to cook and just, as in, what do we do? 247, nothing. We sleep, we wake up nothing that is so far from the truth like I can't remember the last time I had a nap in the afternoon because there's always something to do always and another thing is we we really don't realize how much our families depend on us I mean there was a day I had to go out for something and I was not around when my son came back from school and it was just like where is mommy where is mommy where did she go why is she not at home <laughs> because he's used to me being there and when he was going to school the following morning he was like are you going to go out again today you won't be at home again today i told him i'll be at home don't worry it's and to me it's really funny because sometimes you don't realize how much are being at home they depend on it they are used to it and it's really kind of threw him out of sync he didn't like the way he felt coming home and not seeing me and everything and I think it matters. It does matter a lot. It does matter what we do for our families. <laughs> Career-wise, do I feel as if I'm missing out? No, I don't actually because I, it's not something I wanted. It's not something I'm, I cut out for. This is the life I love living and that's what I'm doing. But I do miss out on having adult conversations sometimes because, you know, when you're around with your kid all the time, you tend to converse at their level and everything. And so that's why most times I turn to social media and everything to talk with people. And <laughs> I actually started my business around the time my son started school and by that time I had the home on a routine, I didn't have to be hands on 247 so I started getting restless and then an opportunity came to learn how to bake so I started taking cake orders, I learned how to bake and started baking, started taking orders and that was when a friend introduced me to Instagram, I went on Instagram, started posting up my cake pictures. And on days I didn't have orders, I started posting up pictures of my son's school meals. And that was what actually captured people's interest. And someone approached me and was like, uh, can you uh, help me with a school lunch timetable for my children? I, I'm always clueless what to cook. I said, okay, so I drew up uh, two weeks something and sent to her. And my husband suggested, why don't you make it a full book, complete with the recipes, the timetable for one month, just like you pack for our son. And I was like, why would anybody want to buy that? People would do for you, it was just like, do it. So uh, I did. It took me two weeks to write that. I wrote a full month timetable, complete with meals, the recipes, the snacks, sn uh, the drinks and fruits you can add. 
and he put it in a PDF format for me and I posted it up for sale for certain amounts. In fact, I was so sure that nobody would buy this, that everybody was going to like insult me that, what does this one think she's doing? So when I put it up, I just locked the locks and I went to bed, only for me to wake up in the morning and I had sold more than 60 overnight i was shocked and that was where it just started from and i was like this is a passion i love cooking i didn't think i could ever make a business out of it or earn money from it but it was a pleasant surprise and it went on from there <laughs> i would like to see people understand the tremendous sacrifice it is to be a housewife for women and to put put a value on what we do it's, it's really important. I don't know of how many people can go on to have successful careers if they do not have someone holding the home down for them. We actually make it possible for to progress. That's why you can go to work and you can be at ease knowing that nobody will call you from, for an emergency regarding your children because your wife is there holding the fort. Someone is making things stable, giving you a solid foundation to build your dreams. And what we do is full time. There is absolutely no day of rest. We don't have weekends off, we don't have vacations like people take from work. Whatever we do, it's still with the family. Put a financial value. I'm looking forward to the day where housewives can actually earn salaries, where we can actually know that this is something we should be paid for. And I also get a lot of messages from women telling me, I wish I can stay at home, but I am so scared of how I will be taken for granted. I'm so scared of having to beg for everything, every dime I need. I, and I think it's sad because number one, this is something that will fulfill women because they want to, for, not all women are cut out to be housewives, but for the ones who want to, but cannot because they are so afraid of their financial independence. It's, it's, it hurts me, you understand, and I'm like, we really should put a financial value on it. And there are so many who are always saying, ah, people will not take me serious if I go somewhere and they say, what do you do? And I can't answer. I said, I always answer. I'm a housewife, as in, that's what I do. I'm so proud of it. And I am I'm, I'm bold about it to give other people boldness to know that own who you are. This is who you are. What you do matters. That's it. <laughs> Being a woman is having tenacity, break barriers, strength, divine assignment, human being, like strong, instinctive, rules the world. I am anything I choose to be. I am a woman. Happy International Women's Day. My name is Olive Emoji. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.